Okay, so like I'm back, but I think I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, I don't know what y'all just saw. What happened was, is my stupid setup is very marginal in a number of ways. One of the ways it's marginal is uh, I've got it, I got my feed video feed running to a TV monitor so I can see it, so I can attempt to stay in frame barely for y'all. And I know you appreciate that even though it works so rarely. Um, I'm just I'm just hitting something different. Um, see, this is why I don't use soft hammer stones usually to get into these things. In this case, this is a limestone hammer stone, and this is hard chert. So this is definitely not optimal for that. So let's see if I pick the quartzite. Bam, just jumps off. I mean, it was a lousy hit, but still. The point was made. Not the point point, but my point. So you can do a lot of... Um, You can do a lot of initial reduction things with a hard hammer if you support it carefully. But see, even though I was hitting down with my finger support on there and everything, see how big that bulb is? Ooh, see how big that bulb is? You know, if you were trying to save all the length on the rock, I mean, I'm still not to the middle, so we're okay, but you, you, you just have to remember, you have these trade-offs um, and what you do with different tools regarding your result. I don't know what I'm doing. This is really Ramble Monday. <laughs> okay, so here's what you should learn from what you're seeing right here. If you want to see anybody napping with hammer stones, Go over to the Flint Napping Tips channel and watch him. Right. Where is my... Now, alternatively, if you're going to use copper, you know, again, the hard copper would work better on some early reductions. But really, this is kind of a, a troublesome little rock because... It's all fat and lumpy, and it's got cortex still on it. And the cortex messes up the strikes because you don't know exactly what they're gonna do. And since the rock is small, you don't want any weirdness in what happens. So it, sometimes it pays to think more, and it may pay to do something like Grind a little bit, choose your weapon carefully, and try and do something that's really of value with each strike. Because if you don't, you'll run out of rock and ideas. That was a skimmer, that's real steep, and it has a tendency to go up and dig in and I hit it low and fast and just made it, there, it was a little higher over here, so I just bringing that down a little bit. Dang. Now again, I'm not quite to the middle, but see the bulb, pretty big bulb because I'm hitting on a steep surface and that puts the force inward more than I would prefer. But I'm trying to do some good and get some thickness gone. I have to untwist this now. But I mean, it actually is doing something of benefit. That blew up a little bit right there on the edge. Might have been damaged from a previous strike.
it's almost like there's a bipolar ring on this end that I need to get past. I'm going to move over here. This is damaged in here. So I'm going to move over here. Isolate and raise that little nub. I wish I could get arranged better. Okay, see how that is? Well, this is crazy. This whole end of this rock is acting weird. These failures are atypical for just a rejection like this. So I tried to hit higher and just undercut them to a degree. But I'm starting to wonder if this, what the deal was with this rock. I don't even remember this rock or where I got it or anything. But there's an undercut little failure there too. So I'm gonna have problems hitting this. thing's tougher than it looks. I mean, it, it has a visual effect of looking like pretty good material, but it just... I think, too, I'm, I'm hitting kind of an awkward way. I'm trying not to touch or bump my setup to keep from losing you again. But as you can see, it's sort of flattening. I actually wasn't going to do this much on any rock. I was just going to go through rocks because I'm trying to... I'm still in the process of trying to lessen the mass of my personal baggage, which I have a lot of. Good thing I said earlier that I don't get embarrassed. I wish my... Nah, see everywhere I'm hitting there's a little damage in there. It doesn't really seem like it was in a fire or anything, but it just, I don't know. When I get off of that end, it tends to, it seems to work okay, pretty much. Well, I'll put that down because it's small. Nodule attack strategy, grind off some of the cortex, knock a flake down to get one to come back this other side. Set up platforms, start knocking flakes off, knock another flake off, knock a big flake off, then come at the sides, and then go to the middle and well on your way to getting the thing flattened and Stand to where you can raise this side and come the other side. Bye. Well, anyway, so it's not like exciting for you to watch or easy for you to watch. Stuff like this, it's going to be a tough run. And as you can see, it's got like crystals and stuff in it. It looks like I already flattened it on one side and flattened it on the other and called it square to stop until such time as I or somebody else decided to try and work it more. That's a rough one. The 
just kicked those up in on purpose. Just trying to do a little bit more good on there. Kind of hit that along the side. Try and do a little bit of good. I don't know about this concept, but all I was doing there is coming up there to try and get a, a different angle on create the platform here to run down this. By clicking by clicking that angle back there, I made it where I can hit a little higher there and try and run something along here. And I'll just do that on the back of my leg. I think I'll step up to the other bopper joint. I'm just gonna do it on the back of my leg. And I hit it fairly high and fairly hard and had this on my leg to try and drive that down and get the best, best result I could from that um, ridge. Wifey's home with groceries. I'm gonna help unload them, so I'll be right back.